Uh, so today's topic uh, will be uh, somewhat theoretical because in the NX there are different types of uh, coordinate systems and uh, we should first understand them uh, while dealing with the NX modeling. Uh, so I'm having one part initially available, it is open, but uh, let me first start with a new uh, empty model to better understand the first type of coordinate system. I start with a modeling application and uh, so if we start with the model, uh, there has to be one coordinate system available initially. That is a datum coordinate system and uh, that is the initial reference. Uh, but uh, we should not confuse this thing uh, with the absolute. Absolute coordinate system, which is the uh, very fundamental and basic coordinate system for NX modeling application, that is the uh, true reference for entire model. Uh, with respect to that uh, datum coordinate system, uh, which is the absolute one. Uh, by referring to that, we can have our entire model created. So the absolute that is not visible by default. Uh, so and this thing uh, can cause a confusion like uh, currently this is visible, but I say absolute is not visible. So to understand that, uh, firstly in the model I'm having the datum thesis and uh, that's the feature. That's why it is visible to us. But if I try to edit that uh, with a rollback, so we'll understand how that is uh, already available, how it is initially created. Um, just a minute. So I'm having issues. Yeah, sorry. So even though it's a datum, but if we look at that carefully, so uh, this datum thesis has been created by referring to the absolute. Okay, so it is the absolute of displayed part. So even though absolute doesn't is not visible to us, but uh, we can correlate this initial datum thesis to the absolute because this has been created by referring to the absolute, and uh, that's why the location of that that is said to be the zero 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 uh, uh, fundamental reference point. And if we see that uh, point further, that is again uh, referring to the absolute. So that's why the absolute is not visible by default. But the initial coordinate system which is available in the model history that is said to be referring to the absolute and that can be correlated with the absolute. And uh, again, I repeat that absolute is a fundamental reference for entire modeling and uh, the absolute we can refer uh, while creating a single part or while creating any automotive or any other kind of a application assembly. So for all of them, the absolute can be referred and uh, that can be referred for a kind of a one part. Say, for example, for automotive, we refer the absolute for the bumper. And by referring to that, we create the other models. That kind of a working is available with the absolute. Um, and the second one is called as a WCS. That is called as a work coordinate system. So right now, WCS is also available here, but that is not visible. And uh, this absolute, which is uh, shown to us by datum, this is the fundamental one uh, that is having the directions like this Z upward, uh, Y here and X here like this. And that is shown to us over here as well. By rotating that, we can understand it is still having the same rotation with this. Uh, so now how the WCS works. Uh, if I show over here, uh, there is one option, dis display WCS, displays the work coordinate system. And you will now see that this uh, work coordinate system that is also uh, located at the same position at the absolute only. And that is having the three directions like XC, uh, YC and ZC. So that is said to be the current uh, active coordinate system of the model. And uh, that can be used dynamically for uh, various applications while modeling. Uh, so uh, to understand that, if I see this uh, foundation model, which is already available and uh, now I want to create one hole further onto the surface on the top surface over here. And uh, for that, I want to refer to the uh, hole center, which is already available to me. So for such kind of a scenario, if I now go for sketch and uh, uh, it is on plane, but instead of choosing any planes from the absolute, I try to infer over there. And for inferring, if I try to infer uh, to that uh, face, so at the face now it is going and further uh, I will choose exact the top face of model and further the origin point I can specify. So now uh, the point is referring to the 
arc or ellipse or sphere center so it's now exactly at that uh, center of that uh, circle and uh, that's the reference will be taken and uh, the current uh, coordinate system which we are looking at right now that's the wcs that is the current uh, coordinate system uh, that is the current work coordinate system so for my sketch now i'm referring to that even though the absolute is here but i'm referring to this one and uh, during my sketch i need to refer to this whole that's why i'm inferring the uh, point of that coordinate system by inferring to that uh, uh, hole over here so in such a manner if i now try to create my sketch then we can observe that the sketch exactly gets oriented uh, at the center of that uh, circular hole so by inferring to that now uh, further i can create the uh, sketch of further circle the diameter is immaterial right now so if i finish and then if i go for uh, next extrude uh, by having reverse direction and uh, it can have some depth less than that uh, previous hole so this kind of a hole immediately got created and uh, that is the uh, use and that is the beauty of this wcs so uh, while creating and while using the wcs that can go uh, to that location uh, where i'm inferring and uh, it can uh, take the reference over there so otherwise uh, if i try to uh, make that uh, hole by inferring to the absolute then uh, the reference to be taken for the hole that was not possible so uh, for example if we compare with catia or creo in creo software we have the we can just uh, create the sketch and uh, we can have the reference of the absolute and further i can take a reference over there for that uh, circular edge of the hole and by that method i can uh, create the circle over there in creo so same logic can be understood over here uh, by referring to the wcs so uh, while sketching i should appropriately infer to the hole center and then i can uh, create the sketch over there uh, where the wcs origin and wcs uh, location is present and that's why uh, for my current example the wcs axis uh, orientation those don't matter uh, they can be anywhere just i have what mattered uh, that was the hole center uh, that that is kind of a one application of wcs further uh, as a one other application if i try to create now one wcs uh, so wcs is a dynamic thing uh, that if i go for wcs dynamics then it would show me the location the current location that is nothing but the absolute but uh, further i can infer uh, that uh, origin to someone some other location so maybe i'm uh, trying to take it uh, over here uh, somewhere here and uh, now i try to infer so z axis that i want to infer to this surface that way now i am trying to orient the wcs and further also i am trying to uh, show the uh, display yeah, the display wcs is uh, already available to me and uh, then if this location is suitable to me for my further sketching uh, maybe i just want to drag it somewhere here and uh, z is currently oriented normal to that face and uh, say further uh, this location i will try to use uh, more times so for such cases i can go for the saving of that uh, wcs uh, so if i say save wcs then the current location of wcs uh, gets saved and uh, we should not confuse because uh, this is not the uh, uh, miss this location is not a type of a, a true or permanent location for the wcs this location i achieved and then i tried to save it so now again if i go for uh, uh, this option uh, to display the wcs then now it is over here currently but now if i go for uh, set wcs to absolute now again it would go over here to the absolute again and uh, still uh, i have saved that location over here for the wcs so further in future if i try to create one more sketch by that location then uh, for next sketch i can again infer to uh, that wcs location which i have saved that way the wcs works that is the current coordinate system that's not a feature that is just a dynamic entity i can locate uh, uh, as per my need and i can use it for sketching or any kind of measurement as well so for example if i try to uh, uh, means for the wcs if i try to locate it over here again at the center of hole uh, and then i try to measure the other hole uh, positions with respect to that 
so that measurement is uh, possible to me uh, so uh, by having the wcs over here the other four holes can be measured with wcs or with respect to the absolute both kind of measurements i can achieve at one go that is another uh, kind of a example or the another kind of a use for uh, wcs uh, so this was a theoretical thing first uh, i spoke about uh, absolute that is always at the fixed location that is the uh, complete reference for the entire model and wcs that can be dynamically moved that location can be uh, saved for the current thing and again i can take the wcs back to absolute and further if i am trying to use that location again and again then i can infer that very quickly uh, for my further sketching uh, so uh, this uh, explains in a nutshell uh, what do we mean by uh, absolute and uh, further the wcs and the third one uh, that is a feature that is a uh, uh, the coordinate system which we use often uh, while our modeling so obviously in the home tab for the construction group i am having the datum ccs so now datum ccs if i now try to create by any of the method and uh, say for example i am trying to create a inferred uh, datum ccs by inferring to this whole center sorry this whole center and uh, then Uh, I can set it as a associative, and uh, yeah, so some uh, kind of a different selection was done. So maybe uh, by other method I will go uh, origin and x and y suppose. So origin I would infer uh, over here at the whole center by using inferred point. So that way I am inferring the origin of that uh, new datum ccs, and further by using the vectors. So maybe. I say that x axis point uh, that can go uh, to some inferred point and uh, that can be uh, somewhere uh, here, suppose. So, this point I am saying for the x direction. And now you can see that uh, that uh, w, that uh, datum ccs which I am trying to create that would now infer this point for the x location. And again, I can uh, refer uh, that uh, point by using either absolute or by the displayed part uh, absolute or by the WCS. So that kind of a freedom I'm having. And uh, further, I try to define the y axis point, maybe uh, somewhere at some other location. So maybe uh, one inferred point over here. So that way now my current datum CCS got created. And uh, if I want further, I can uh, change the orientations. And uh, now see, it is uh, becoming associative. So whatever be the references I selected, like first the origin point, this one, then the x vector point, this one, and the y vector point over here. So by referring to all of them, it is uh, keeping the associativity, uh, which means that these two points are coming from the solid. This is coming from the hole in the solid. And uh, if I create that kind of a uh, datum coordinate system, uh, that would be now given to us as a different feature in the model history from the part navigator. And further, if I try to change this model uh, for the dimensions over here for the ribs, as well as uh, for the ribs, I will have to change this outer diameter. And uh, uh, that way, these X and Y reference points, they would change. And uh, further, if I try to uh, change the uh, location of the hole, then uh, this point would change, and that will definitely uh, impact the location of my datum coordinate system feature because that is totally associative. So that way we can understand and correlate the uh, different types of uh, coordinate systems in NX. And uh, this uh, uh, topic I tried to explain in a very brief, uh, as this is just a conceptual and theoretical thing, uh, but further. If you go to our I get it and uh, for the learning page of I get it, uh, we are having different catalogs of different uh, CAD softwares and many other uh, categories. So here, if we focus on the NX category and uh, if we go by this 1953 series uh, version, which I am right now explaining. So even though uh, I use the NX 1953, but uh, still the concepts are same because they are the fundamental ones. So the absolute the wcs and the datum coordinate systems they all will function in the same manner uh, whatever be the nx version and uh, so here 
in the category uh, we are having this course nx1953 series uh, 102 working with parts so i have that course uh, open separately and uh, that course is a comprehensive course to understand uh, multiple aspects of nx and uh, here uh, we are having a complete unit dedicated to that topic uh, coordinate system so here everything is explained like what is a wcs what is the uh, and absolute uh, both and then the datum thesis. So uh, what I have explained uh, in a nutshell in a very brief that is totally coming out of uh, this course only. So I request you all to uh, first of all, thanks for attending the session. And apart from that, for further knowledge, for knowledge en enhancements at your uh, end, you can uh, further go to our aggregate course and uh, try to get most of the knowledge uh, regarding NX. So yes, yeah, thanks a lot.